Market research conducted in China by Strategy Analytics showed that Harmony OS was the third largest smartphone platform after Apple iOS and Google Android, reaching record highs of 4% market share in China during the first quarter of 2022, up from zero just a year earlier. This increase in market share took place after the operating system was launched for smartphone devices in June 2021. Harmony OS was reported to be the fastest growing smartphone operating system in China, which was the world's largest smartphone maker in 2022. The research reported that in the first quarter of 2022, the platform outgrew its rival from a low install base of around 150 million smart devices overall, particularly due to the good support in China and the Harmony OS software upgrades that Huawei made available for the older headset models and its former sub-brands such as Honor. The app is currently available around the world in 77 languages. If you like where this is going, don't forget to like and subscribe as I post interesting content daily that you don't want to miss. Let's go. <coughs> Huawei launched Harmony OS or Hongmeng in August 9, 2019, in the midst of Sino-American trade war. The United States Department of Commerce added Huawei to its entity list in May 2019 under an indictment that it knowingly re-exported goods, technology and services of US origin to Iran in violation of sanctions. This prohibited US-based companies from doing business with Huawei without first obtaining a license from a government. To comply with national security laws, Huawei phones sold in the US did not come with Google Play Store or any other Google services. This initially affected the sales of Huawei products so much they had to sell their Honor subdivision. Technically, Android is an open source operating system that does not belong to any American company. It is based on a modified version of the Linux kernel and other open software designed primarily for touchscreen mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets. Android is developed by a consortium of developers known as the Open Handset Alliance through its most widely used version is primarily developed by Google. This version ships with additional proprietary closed software programs pre-installed, most notably Google Mobile Services or GMS. Google enjoys enormous privilege with Android and has therefore mostly used this to its advantage, often to advance its monopoly. Since Google is also a US registered company with majority of the stocks trading in the US stock market, the government can dictate who it trades with. Huawei had to come up with a way to bypass all these sanctions. Huawei executive Richard Yu described in an in-house platform as a plan B in case it's prevented from using Android on future smartphones products due to sanctions. They thus developed Harmony OS in-house. Harmony OS was therefore developed to bypass all this by aiming at unifying the operating system which is used in smartphones, TVs and even cars. The OS is written in the same programming language as Android, which is Linux. It is open source just like Android and Linux, meaning any mobile company can use it for free of cost. There is no need to take license for it. On top of that, the multi-kernel version of Harmony OS supports Android devices. Some of the key features that users have noticed is the new user interface, which contains additional features not available on Android. Apps can support snippets, which expose a portion of the app's functionality, such as media player's control or a weather forecast via pop-up window by swiping up on the icon, and can be pinned to the home screen as a widget. When it comes to software, apps are available to users through Huawei App Gallery, which serves an application store for Harmony OS and can also distribute Android-compatible apps. The operating system also supports cross-platform interaction between supported devices via the Super Device Interface. The devices are paired via a radar screen by dragging icons to the center of the screen. This can allow users to play back media saved inside a smartphone through a paired PC, smart TV or speakers. Share PC recordings, run multiple phone apps in the PC window and many other features. The device will be able to use Nearlink, a set of standards that use wireless technologies like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, while emphasizing improved performance in areas like response time, energy efficiency, signal range and security. The first version of Harmony OS came out in 2019 and was much like the existing Android skin that appeared on Huawei phones in China. On August 4, 2023, Huawei launched the latest version known as Harmony OS Next. This new version does not include the compatibility layer framework with Android libraries and thus cannot run Android APK apps natively. The South China Morning Post reported that many countries in China are already on hiring spree for developers to make native applications for Harmony OS Next, which is another hint that the upcoming version will not support Android apps. With the Chinese government also putting restrictions for government and state-owned company staff from using foreign devices, it is likely that this will boost domestic market. On September 4, 2023, Huawei announced that it would release Harmony OS for PC in 2024. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.